Okay, tubes, I'm out here just messing with the back air bags for the S10. So I'm trying to make something simple so it goes up and down. I got some pieces of metal today. Come off old farm equipment. That's a, a 4x4, but it's C channel. Uh, well, together, you got a piece of C channel. It's quarter inch, it's definitely heavy enough. Uh, Right now, I'm gonna get a fitting. I want to see how hot, how this bag actually goes. So we're gonna try that. Okay, we got tape measure here. Now this is just at rest height, as you can see there. No, no air, no nothing. Rest height. It's roughly. Uh, That's say eight and a quarter. And if I ain't mistaken, these are identical to the uh the dominator bags. It's the exact same they all I did is copied it. Try not to cover the hole up. It's a bellow bag, so it should collapse on itself like it did. And I think that was like three inches used to be. Yeah, three inches. So it goes down to three inches and it's already at nine. I thought these had a lift of seven inches. You see it's been sitting for a while. Uh, so let me get a fitting and go from there. Okay, what I'm using is a Schrader valve. It's called. Get these at, uh, you can get these Lowe's anywhere, Home Depot or anything. I believe... I just bought these off the internet, but they do sell them. And I was going to use it in there, but... Looks like I can't. Well, uh, yeah, I can. Hold on. Okay, what I did is put one of the uh, T's on top just for now, like it'd be in the car. And I forgot I made this thing a long time ago. It's a T with two Schrader valves. Well, it's a T. It would have had Schrader valve. Then uh, the other side, you could have filled up the airbags. And then we'll plug this in here. Then by putting air in one of them Schrader valves, we'll raise it. So let me go ahead and do that. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, I will show it to you, but I put the line on. Put air in it. And it popped out. So I was holding it and just measuring it the best I could. Couldn't hold the phone and tape measure it the same. See, that's supposed to go in there and stay. But I didn't have it in far enough, so it went up ten and a half inches. So if we get a, something to write on here. We know Let's see, go down to three inches. It was eight and a half just sitting there, or eight and a quarter. And it went ten and a half. That's on here. That's just a bench test, ten and a half. So, like I said, it's got seven inch, it's got a seven inch stroke to it, more or less. So, all right, let me go pause. Now we're going to take this out and see where it will fit. If I don't trip over everything, I got, got to clean the garage up again. I know I know, I ain't going to have it ready for the car show this weekend. But it'd be nice if I could make something simple because that's all I want to do. 
to make something simple I was thinking they make them helper springs that go on your spring it presses well it press on this presses a spring down I was thinking something like bolting this up through here and then making a bracket down here because here 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 to here is going to be all the way compressed so See, it ain't gonna go that far so I wouldn't get this lift out of it so I didn't that's not gonna work guys let me go under here and this is what we're working with under the car if no one's ever showed you one of these and this I was thinking about tearing this out but if I cut this exhaust off and just make a turn down there that, that'll work here. And then I could come back here, I was thinking. I'll show you some more in a minute. My best bud called. Big Mikey. Oh, now I'm tripping. Go back out under here. And look at this situation again. Because... This side, like we said about right here, it's not going to work, I don't think. But, if I take and leave all this stuff in here, just trim this up, make us better. Trim this in here, put a plate out there. I see. I can look, bolt that, uh, Trying to hold this and show you guys at the same time. Keep it away from the shock enough. I'll bolt right there. Think that'll work. And this right here, right here is about my three inches. So what I'll do, let me go get some chalk and show you what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm back. Now, what I mean by chalk, it's actually like a soapstone. A welders use it. And it's going to be a little hard since me trying to hold the camera. I'm going to say we put it right about here. Put the bracket out there. That will work. Right, guys? Let me, let me pause. Okay, if I come in and cut this stuff out, first I'm going to have to grind this off. And here's that other side that I did. I didn't trim this up a little bit yet. Make that smooth in there. But it's all trimmed. And that part actually part of that was part of the uh, the body mount but anyway ain't going anything if you trim it because it's welded all the way up through here and everything so you're good all right so if i trim this through here all this only up to here only to where the level part is or up to here I don't want to trim any higher than this. So what I'd be doing is trimming what you see there. Cutting up there and getting the grinder and cutting in there. And actually you could you could cut that even more because you cut this up on the bottom if you wanted to you so what I had to do I had to put a piece on top of that 
and go across. I'm just trying to figure if I want to cut all the way across here into this outer hole. Now see this one ain't gonna work on this side on the outer hole because that's where this one is. So what I'm gonna have to do on this one is actually cut in a little bit. Just a hair, not a lot. So that's what it'd be more or less cutting out. Then you can get your then you could put your airbag in there. See this one will go here too. The only difference the only problem you'd have over here is this line, but this line is flexible. So you really ain't gonna hurt anything. See, see how flexible that is? Cause the airbag, you're gonna set your airbag actually back here, back some. You don't want the airbag right on it. You want to back some. See, so it would, it definitely work. So that's what we're probably gonna do, guys. Probably gonna cut up through here. Trying to save this because that's part of your, my brake line. That just holds it. It could be relocated. You could move it over if you want to, like over here. All you have to do is redrill the hole and take it apart. Then you got to bleed all your brakes. And I'm gonna try not to do that. I'll go get tape measure and measure across here, and we'll see what that we got. All right, I'm putting this up here. If I put it on a little dot, which I'm trying to miss over there, if I come over just a little bit, there, there, it's seven inches. And our bag, let's do it this way, guys. Our bag is under six inches. So that's half inch on each side and I was thinking about this guys I might even not cut that as off but I'm putting it here it's away from that exhaust because it's gonna be back here look how much room you got around that exhaust So when I need to cut this, I'm going to cut it here, and then I'm going to reinforce it, because it's part of the shocks. So I'm going to cut it here, go across, then I'm going to put a, I'm going to take a piece of that metal and put it across here, I'll cut a flat piece. I'll figure something out, because I'm going to have to... See, I got the gas tank, gas line over here. I got to worry about. I still think it'll work because the airbag is going to land, like we said, right about there. That gas line's right on there. Mm. We're going to have to pair something out. But that's what I'm trying to do. Don't know if it'll work. I haven't really said to go. Hit the green green button to go yet. Right here's my other air lines. And you... Let me see. Let me see where I go through the frame. We can get that cut there. And then we already took it in and cut another one about here. 
But it'd probably be easier to just cut that whole piece out. But the problem I got, and when I do that, this goes up further here. And see, right there's where my bolt's gonna land. See, that's what I'm thinking. I put that there. Because I can't move it in further. You could, but. I want it close to the shock without hitting the shock. At least a good inch away. So it's going in right, right about in there, like we said. What I might have to do is leave, leave some of this. Might be. I might just have to cut this out, guys. I don't think you cut it out here. Put something across here, and be able to. Uh, Put the hose stuff on it. If I do that, I could actually. I got an idea. If I take this and trim this out here, I don't know how much higher that is above the frame there. It's up to here. So it's about half the frame. If I trim this level over here, put 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 a plate in there, then I can still get in there and not bolt that in here. Don't have to be all the way up there. Then I'm gonna then I'm missing everything that I don't want to hit. That will work. Then we just gonna have to make the rear one custom. From here, from actually let me get up here guys sit up here a little bit if i can oh there what i'm saying is let me get this stick here probably something like that i don't know how to get the level out but if I cut that out and get rid of this, to my eye to your eye, it's about level. Then I put something across there, just a flat plate welded on. Well, before I weld it on, I would uh, make the holes. Then seeing still get the airline through there and everything, I had to uh, drill a hole through here. There's a hole here, and if it's the airbags laying in here, it still might work. It's just gonna be tight up there. Well, anyway, I could drill another, drill another hole up here and feed it out. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we decided. We're gonna cut here. Like, round, throw, but we ain't gonna cut as high. We ain't gonna cut all this. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna cut it right here. Somewhere right on that mark so this will be going now on now I'll put a piece of metal across there I can actually make it I can make it so I can nut and bolt it. I could drill holes in here four holes and make something over here while it on make four holes and bolt that plate on then you can take it on and off that plate and then then after that let me move over here what it's going to look like if I go from there, it'd be right there, and then it just, you fear that, and then the rear, if I go down most of the rear, that rear is, it's probably two and a quarter rear, someone probably knows off the top of the head, just rough guess, because I don't know what a Chevy rear is, like, Looks like two and a quarter, two and a half. Anyway, 
there, there. Then I got this much here, and if I put the bracket, make it lower on the rear, come down a little bit, and go out. Like, whoop, I'll draw, I'll draw it for you in a second. And put a plate across here, and that'll work, guys. That's what we're going to do. That'll save it. If I do that, it's going to save all the structure up here. I don't have to undo none of these rivets. All I'm going to do is trim it here. Trim it there. Get rid of this, this. Trim this. Just right there. I'm going to trim it up through here. And then whatever I need to go over here. That rear is all. Ain't it, guys? It looks like the rear... I could be wrong. No, it's close. Because the brackets are going to come off here and right in here. So, Alright, let me spin you around here. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. At least you watch one. Bye later and please subscribe. Bye.